Good day everyone, this is your friend Jake Rodriguez Pomprada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Welcome to my channel and then in this uh, video tutorial, I will discuss to you guys on how to create a very simple program using Microsoft Visual Basic.net or VB.net to compute the product of two numbers. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you very much for my subscribers and followers of my channel. If you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial, share, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. So let's get started. Right now, I'm running the program. So we have here the title, product of two numbers in VB.net. So what the program is doing is very simple. It will ask the first value. Let's say, for example, we have 5. The second value, we can have 10. And then when we press the compute button, we have 50. If we click this button, it will clear all the text box. And then we can give another value, let's say 6. And then we have 8. So, when we click the button, we have 48. What is good about this program is that, for example, uh, you, you forgot to put a value on this one, the f give the first value, and then you try to click the compute button. It will display a message box, cannot be empty, try again, which inform the user that the first value cannot be empty. So, let's say the second value, if the user forgot to put any value on it, when the user click the compute button, the same thing happened. It will display this dialog box, message box in visualbasic.net that tells the user that cannot be empty, try again. This feature, guys, I, I added to, to protect our program from crashing. So don't worry because I will put the link on the complete source code so that you may copy. So we can have uh, if we click the clear button and then when we click the quit it will exit. Now let us discuss on how the code works. Actually the code is very simple. Here the first button here. So we have here the text box one point text is empty. If this one is empty It will display this message and then the text box one it will focus and clear the text box else if text box 2 empty cannot be empty try again text box 2 focus and text box 3 point text else it will form the computation of finding the product of two numbers and text box 3 it will display the result here in the text box 3 and then and button 2 button 2 click it will clear the text box the three text box here 1 2 and 3 and then the result and then focus and then the text box 3 to end the program that's very simple so when we run again the program We can have first we give first value 5, second value is 6, and then the result is 30. This is the end of our video tutorial. Before we end, if you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorial. This is your friend Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City Negros Occidental says until to the next video tutorial. Bye-bye for now. And by the way, thank you for watching.